What's going on guys? This is an update on this hyper tough weed eater. Just uh, got it back a little while ago in the process of knocking some of the crap we accumulated on it. Yeah, it's a little hard to do one handed but uh, I always like to knock that out. But uh, we bought this eight, nine months ago. This thing, I was really surprised. Ran like a champ. I took it out to my boss's house. He has his property is huge, and uh, took it out there. And this thing took a uh, hour and a half at least. Man, steady beat down. Went through two and a half tanks of fuel on it, and was really hard on it out of curiosity to see if it would hold up. And it held up. Didn't miss a beat, man. And uh, this the part I was worried about was uh, those shafts and you know, the way they're put together. But it done really really good i was really surprised i had my doubts but uh i was thinking about getting uh because it's set up where you can put a shoulder strap on it i don't know if i'm really uh willing to spend the extra money for that but it just hooks there and um i guess it just hooks there i don't see another spot but uh you could get one on it if you needed it this one's the uh it was eight months, nine man, nine months ago, something like that. But uh, I can't remember to save my life. What? Uh, oh, it's on this one it's on the bottom. 26 cc. I think it was a 26 cc with an 18 inch cut. 50 to one. Runs good. They still sell them at Walmart. Uh, they are currently on sale at Walmart for. $102 on clearance right now. I personally wouldn't pay that much for for one of them. Not necessarily knocking them, don't get me wrong. But uh, they're just, uh, you know, kind of cheaply made. So, But, you know, to each their own. These are the ones that we got. I bought two of them. We got lucky and happened to be there at the right time. And I think these ones, the straight shafts were uh, $37 and the curved shafts were $30. And uh, so we bought two of these. I'd have to go, I know we bought two of them, but exact price, I'd have to go back and look at the video. But uh, it's, it's had been eight, nine months, maybe 10 months, something like that. But uh, it's just an update on it. This thing still runs like a champ, man. Uh, definitely did get hurt on the price, but. Uh, just in case, but keep your manual. I had someone sent me a question earlier. I should have reminded me about this one because I just got home a little while ago. Um, I was looking for a part number on one of my other videos where we done the uh, to re-spool it, and was asking about a part number. So if you buy it new, uh, keep your manual. I'm real bad for throwing them out, but I looked because he said he needed a guard and the, the, the spool head, and I know on the guard. It, uh, I looked all over on it. it was, I was looking, you know, because I always knock the grass off, but I do not see a part number on this thing anywhere. And the head, same way, unless you got any, unless it's on the inside of it. But uh, so if you buy it new, you better keep that manual in case you need a part. If not, I done a random uh, search on uh, Google with the uh, just put in hyper tough. And ain't no way I can get that to zoom in on that, but the manufacturer's uh, part number, put that in, and between Amazon and eBay, you'll find anything you possibly need for these. You probably go to hell. You might even be able to go to Amazon or Walmart's website, or I don't know if they have an actual website for Hyper Tough or not, but uh, you can try there also. But I'm just tossing that out there, update on it, man. It's uh, she's still running like a champ. It was a little hard to start at first, and then uh, once it got the fuel cycle through the car, man, she fired right up. But uh, I'll get back to cleaning her up and so I can get her back in the shed. Thanks for watching.